Hi folks, welcome to another edition of Big on Wine and our wine of the week for this week is a wacky, wonderful white wine from Washington and boy, that took some effort. Coming right up. Hi guys, this is Tony Melville with another edition of Big on Wine, the channel that brings you news, clues and reviews about everything in the world of wine. And of course, our emphasis is on a clear, entertaining message and of course, value for money. And hey, if you're new here, why not consider subscribing to the channel? Okay, now our wine of the week for this week is none other than this one here. And it comes from Washington, but not, of course, Washington, D.C. This is from Washington State, and that's, of course, way up in the northwest of the United States, just south of the Canadian border, um, close to the uh, city of Seattle. Now, when I first saw the label on this wine, and you know I'm a f old fuddy-duddy when it comes to labels, I thought, God, this is a wine that, you know, is probably drunk by girls called Tracy, who think that Geordie Shore is the best TV programme in the world. But I was wrong, and I admit it. If you've ever seen other wines produced by Charles Smith Wines, you'll know that they all have fairly wacky names. Okay, so this is Kung Fu Girl Riesling, 2015 vintage, and it comes in for just under uh, 15 euro a bottle. This is actually made in Seattle, but uh, the grapes come from the Columbia Valley, which is about 400 kilometers southeast of Seattle. So this is way up in America's northwest. Okay, now in the glass here, we've got a uh, clear, rather light-colored wine, um, yellow-green in color. Um, let's see what it's like in the nose. Um, yeah, it has a nice, fine um, apple is the first aroma that hits me here. Um, apple, maybe a touch of a pear in there as well. Very attractive in the nose. Fairly fine, fairly light. Um, let's see what it's like in the palate. Now that's... Uh, an excellently made wine. Um, first impressions, um, not heavy on alcohol, fairly light, I think around about 12%. Um, flowery, very appealing in the mouth. Um, medium dry, um, around about 13 grams of residual sugar. So this is one I think that needs some food to go with it. In the mouth, um, very, very attractive citrusy flavours and very, very ripe flavours. Um, not aggressive at all. Ripe citrus fruits, lemon and lime come through, flowery and a little bit of minerality. So we've got sweetness here balanced also with good acidity um, and it really does get the juices going very nicely. Let's have another quick taste. Yep, underneath there's a lovely acidity, touch of sugar, um, very ripe citrusy flavour to it. Um, so what would this be good with? Well, I think, you know, the makers of the wine uh, consider that uh, a Chinese or a Thai takeaway is the ideal. I don't know whether you need to have spicy food with this. Obviously, it would go well uh, with fresh seafood. Uh, fish that has some, uh, you know, fairly solid flavour of its own. Um, how about uh, king prawns with spring onions and ginger? Or maybe even, how about a chicken kung pao? Lovely. Okay, so let's bring you the heads up on this one. This wine here is Kung Fu Girl Riesling, vintage 2015. Uh, from Washington State in America's Northwest, made by Charles uh, Smith Wines. Um, medium dry, 100% um, Riesling. Um, very, very mature, ripe citrus flavors. Flowery notes, um, nice acidity, 
would work well, extremely well with food, um, particularly with Chinese Oriental cuisine in general, and serving temperature around about uh, 10 to 12 degrees, probably around 10 degrees if you're serving it as an aperitif. The price is just under the 15 euro mark, and I'm going to give it four stars plus out of five. Four stars plus for Kung Fu Girl. Okay, if you've enjoyed everything you've seen and heard on the channel today, then please do consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up on social media, share with your friends as much as you like, and of course, we'll be back again next week with another fantastic Wine of the Week for your pleasure and entertainment. See you next time.